I, I work hard at coming out here and being honest here, and it's, you ask me that, I'm going to say that the day after to sign a contract, I'm going to tell you how wonderful it is here. Mm -hmm. But I've said that from day one when I walked in the room. This is a different place. The Winnipeg Jets, in my experience, are a different pro sports team. It's, it's a smaller town. The, the people love their team here. It's here for the right reasons. Ownership wants that for the city. That, that's the driver here. And you feel it from the time you walk in. It's a great place to work. And it's an exciting place to work. And you want to win. And you sign a contract. Yeah, you want to win for yourself. But you want to win for the people that are here. And that's the off-ice staff, the ownership, the fans. You want to build a winner because you know that Winnipeg, the city of Winnipeg, will cherish that and love that as much as any team in pro sports. You well, had said at the beginning of the summer that you'd be comfortable going into this yep. on the last year of the deal. Now that you've got a deal in place, what does that do for you? You know, it really didn't change anything in, in terms of my feeling. I like this group. I like uh, the strides that we've made, and, and I like the hope and optimism you feel coming into the rink when you put the names on the board. So. Um, we got work to do. There's no doubt about that, but we're on a, a real good path to it. I, I don't know that I've, it's changed how I think about anything going into this year. You like the group. Uh, Chevy says the group likes you, and that's one of the reasons why uh, you got this deal. Uh, um, when you get that vote of confidence from your players, what does that mean for you? Those are questions you never want asked, right? Um, not particularly. You want the players on the bench to have confidence in the man behind the bench, especially when the decisions are harsh. Um, so you'll, you, especially the drivers of the team have to believe in the direction that you're pushing the team for sure. Uh, we have a good working relationship there. I treat them like men, but uh, they're, they're becoming more men and we'll be able to do more with that. As young as the team is, did you get the most out of it last year? In pieces, in parts, in, in what we could. The consistency is the is the big challenge to drive in a younger group, and uh, that'll be the area. We want to be incrementally better in everything that we do this year. I think we can score more goals than we did when we finished seventh with that group. So uh, all of those pieces uh, will get more consistent. We'll, we'll get it out of them.